PvP, 7 star medals, better Keyblade slots. Nice. Hey! Hey guys, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation and welcome back to the channel! Today, we're go it's going to be a very short video. I just want to go over the newest update that we got for JP, which will of course be sooner or later coming to global as well. But essentially, uh, we're just going based off of the previous info that we got like a while back ago about the PvP update and some other various updates that will be appearing in the game uh, pretty soon, expecting to be sometime next month. So very looking forward to it. And uh, one of them being the new PvP mode, they gave a little picture, like a slight like insight as to what it's going to be like. I'm very excited. Like Honestly, the PvP mode is my most anticipated event out of the entire update. That's what I look forward to the most because I've been wanting a PvP mode for the longest time. Like I already know what medals are going to be like pretty decent in, in PvP mode too. Like that, like my, already my guesstimates. Uh, but anyways, just to quickly go over it. Okay, so so we have a picture here. They have it. They released it online. So this is the quick basically like the translation and whatnot. Okay, so they added PvP mode player versus player new content at the battle under development. And here we have one character using a meteor attack against another character. And there's like some there's some type of point system going on. I find this very interesting. There's no like health or anything related. I mean, it kind of makes sense though, because we do so much damage at this point. Like even just one metal will just like instantly kill us. So that, that makes complete sense why there's no health. What I do find interesting though is how the point system is, uh, as you could probably tell right here too. Um, there's, there's even like a little match thing too. So it's like a best two out of three. Uh, type of scenario which I which is pretty cool. Uh, it's almost like a like a fighter game type thing The main thing that I'm interested in when it comes to the PvP mode when looking at this picture is how exactly are these points going to be determined? That's what I want to know uh, The most that I can think of off the top of my head is that it's gonna be almost like a a damage contest That is my assumption when looking at this at the moment is that this is pretty much going to be the closest thing to like a damage contest at all times that we're going to have like a coliseum version of a co damage contest uh, where the more damage that you can do your do to the opponent the higher your score that is my guess as to what it is um but but that uh that also but because of the fact that it's pvp it's it, it, you're against other players and not against just a random like uh, computer that's just sitting there with like ridiculous amounts of health that you just can't kill. Uh, this aspect, because of the fact it's player versus player, brings different aspects to the game, um, which I am looking forward to. And uh, as of right now, I can already tell you there's going to be a definite type of like triangle. Uh, is this my? That's not a triangle. That's a triangle. <laughs> there's going to be like a triangle of like. Uh, what's good against whatnot and stuff like that. Um, at first, like straight off the top of your head, most people are probably going to think that for a PvP mode, most people are going to think that the standard meta setup that's in the game is going to is going to be what works for PvP. Okay, so like you know, Kyrie Shion, Copy Metal, uh, standard Fairy Star setup type stuff. But what I will, I do want to say too, is that don't don't let that fool you. Okay, because there are some people out there like me <laughs> that are just gonna have the most absurd like setups that are just gonna be there to just mess with you. <laughs> to just and like these these are basically going to be the uh the turtle setups. The turtle setups are by far gonna be the ones that are gonna be the most annoying for you to fight against. And I'm even gonna, I'm even gonna have a picture up here on screen of a potential turtle setup that I can have on my counterpoint. That's pretty much gonna be full defense with a little bit of attack um, with H uh, HD Zexian as like my pet metal for the damage and whatnot. Um, but because of the fact that my Kyrie is buffing 
all of my all, all of my turtle medals and whatnot and i'm buffing my defenses up on top of and the fact that my key art number 12 is gonna just dispel any type of strength buffs that you have on yourself it's just gonna like it's gonna be cancer it's gonna be absolute cancer but uh as of right now what i want to say is these are my guesses as to what are going to be some of the most seen and low-key uh op medals in coliseum outside of what is to be expected so outside of the meta so these are kind of like the underdog medals that might show up quite a bit so the first one being ht zexian ht zexian basically just covers all grounds he does he provides defense he provides defense buffs on top of strength and general defense debuffs um, which will just help uh, let you do more damage on top of uh, not letting your opponent do as much damage. That's a key thing too. Not letting your opponent do as much damage will avoid letting them get as many points assuming that it's going to play out the way I have in mind. Okay. Uh, HD Zekin is going to actually be like the, like one of those uh, like key medals to focus on. The spell medals uh, such as key art number 12 that just completely uh, erase any buffs or debuffs that your opponent has. Uh, so like so like I just like said, key art number 12. Even old medals like the illustrated Beast and Bell or Bell and Beast, whatever it's called. Um, medals like that uh, may also be relevant because of the fact that, well, because you're going to fight people like me who are going to have turtle strategies, uh, those dispel medals will end up being useful, actually being useful. Because it'll just completely get rid of all of the defense buffs that your opponent has. And then, of course, you have the standard uh, turtle strategy buff medals, such as HPO, Key Art number 12, and HD Zexion. Um, and then you have straight up debuff medals that are just there to just annoy the crap out of you. <laughs> Which are basically there to just not let your opponent have fun and not get as many points as possible because they can't do as much damage. Uh, and those are going to be medals like Chicken Little and HD Zexion. Uh, notice how I, keep, how I keep mentioning HD Zexion. He just literally covers like most of these slots. He's just going to be like one of the best medals you're probably going to end up seeing in PvP. Um, these are my, my predictions though at the moment. But let's say for example you don't have have enough of these really good dispelling type metals like here at number 12 and illustrated bell and beast uh that can just completely get rid of all of these defensive buffs that your opponent has you can still use the guaranteed damage type metals as well to help get past that since it just completely ignores that anyways and doesn't guarantee the amount of damage so metals like illustrated Orin and men in black could potentially end up being really good as well against this type of setup so it's it's really nice like i said before at the beginning of the video it's it's basically like a triangle of what's good against each other now and i i really like that aspect that it kind of it provides something new to the game um and it lets you actually be able to use some of these older uh metals and metals that we kind of f assume to be just like useless for this entire time as well and I, I really enjoyed that um so basically the way i have it right now i even created like a little uh thing for you guys to think of is that so basically I am, i'm gonna put it on the bottom screen but basically this is how the triangle is gonna work okay the spell strategies are gonna beat turtle strategies since they're going to erase all of the defensive buffs turtle strategies could potentially beat damage strategies. Um, that kind of depends on how good your defensive medals th are though, um, and how good their damage medals are though, as well as whether or not we're gonna get more defensive metal too. So that one's a little iffy, but like theoretically defensive ones would beat uh, damage ones, as well as damage setups uh, will beat dispel setups since the dispel setups are focused on getting rid of your buffs and doing, um, like moderate amount of damage okay whereas the damage strategy is obviously going full-on aggro damage so that's the little triangle that i have that i'm predicting right now which sounds completely reasonable to me and i'm really looking forward to um but i'm, I'm very excited to see where the how pvp goes and where it leads to um but other than that we also got a new uh announcement as well too and i actually kind of saw this coming i even talked about it a little bit on a reddit post that uh that i made like a few weeks ago or a month ago or something like that i was talking about it with someone because i i kind of because i know other gotcha games do some do stuff similar to this so it wasn't complete surprise to me uh to hear about this but basically uh we're getting a new type of metal rarity i kind of want to say rarity so basically uh so you know how like we have 
medals in the game that can go up to six stars. Well, now they're introducing a new type of evolution called seven star medals. So any star that's currently six star can now evolve into seven star medals and all seven star medals uh, have their basic performance is greatly improved when it becomes seven star and that's just quote from the picture right there and stuff so this this provides an entirely new dynamic to the game uh, because of the fact that this could potentially mean that even the older medals like the tier one two and three medals could potentially actually be really good and useful once they become seven stars uh when the mechanic comes out okay so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm very interested to see what each of the medals are going to do. Um, and whether or not it actually changes anything for the game. At least like the current meta and stuff like that. Or even potential strategies. We'll see. We'll see. Like think about it. It'll be interesting to see HPO as a 7 star setup. I mean as a 7 star medal. With a uh, with an increased ability. That will be interesting to see. Um, but other than that. Okay so one last thing. For today before I get off uh, for this video and stuff like that they're also introducing a new mechanic this one's the most surprising at all I did not see this one coming at all and I don't I mean it kind of makes sense but also it's like a little weird uh, but essentially just to read off it says large reinforce each keyblade with sub slots sub slots to raise the strength of the keyblade will appear use metals other than regular regularly used in battle and so from what I can gather from this, this basically means that you can equip and, and, and if you can even look closer into the picture as well, uh, where it's circled in red over here, uh, it shows a number. It says four out of 100 if you look closer right there. So what I'm assuming right there is that you can somehow like equip up to 100 of your metals onto the Keyblade itself to add minuscule like very marginal uh benefits to each slot's multipliers uh similar to like leveling up the keyblade but like you know equipping metals instead so uh it, it'll, it'll kind of work from what i can gather similar to how your pets are how you equip metals to your pets to increase your pet slot multiplier um but this time it's more on a the entire uh keyblade uh overall and what I think they're trying to address here in terms of this mechanic is to actually provide some type of benefit and use to your older metals. So like tier one and two metals, because no one really uses tier one and two metals. Even even new players use tier three metals when they have them uh, and tier four metals. Like no one really uses tier one and two metals. So I, I feel like that's what they're trying to address here um, with this mechanic is to basically just let you be able to use the older and non-used metals that you may currently possess other than that that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well as hit that bell button it's the best way to know when i upload a new video like this one uh but other than that my name is brian fikinamartini across nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace